Okay, so first, um, I already filled in her brows. I used a brow pencil and I used the MAC Spike Brow Powder. And now I am taking NC45 and cleaning up underneath her brows. This is the Studio Fix Concealer. And on top of her brows, I went in with NW48 to clean up the top part of her brows. She has really nice brows, so you know it wasn't too it wasn't hard at all to fill in her brows. And I'm using a real technique brush, a uh, concealer brush, to carve out her brows. Then I am taking another Real Technique brush and I'm just buffing out the concealer around her eyebrows, underneath her eyebrows. For the primer for her eyelid, I'm using Paint Pot and Painterly with that same Real Technique concealer brush. And then I'm taking some setting powder just to set around her eyes so the paint really doesn't move. Setting it in for her. First color on her eyes, I am going, well I use Culture. It is from the Perception Shayla Times ColourPop palette. I really didn't know what we were going for, but as I kept adding color, then I was like, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. She wore like all white for the whole weekend. So I wanted to do something really pretty. The next color I went into, I took the new Warrior palette, Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. And I went in with um, the top two shades, it's Yotid and Kofu. It's the dark brown shade you see there. Really pretty colors. It's the top two colors um, in the Warrior 2 palette. So I'm just layering those colors. I'm using um, the same brush. I'm just layering each color down on her eyelid. So I cut her um, crease already on the other side. I had her look up just to see where the placement of the concealer would be. This is NC42 by MAC. And I'm just cutting her crease with that same Real Technique brush. And this is actually going really slow, but I you know, sped it up for video purposes. But when you're cutting your crease, you wanna take your time to make sure the placement is correct. So her eye shape is different than mine, so I really had to look and see exactly where I wanted to place it. On her lid, I took the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, the one that's called Arms and Gorgeous. And I took that lighter shade out of there, and it's called VIP. Next, I went back into the Warrior palette, the Warrior 2 palette, and I took the dark, it's kind of like a charcoal gray, it's called Wasana and Sh Shawata. I mixed those two together. Um, and place them in her outer V. Next, I laid down some NYX Glitter Primer and then I took Reflex Pearl by MAC and placed it on her eyelid first. This is the first like sparkly color that I placed on her eyelid. And I'm just using a lip gloss wand to apply. Next for the glitter, she loves glitter. This is actually some glitter from the craft store. And it's very finely milled. She didn't have any issues with blinking or anything like that. Um, and I'm just using that same gloss, well, same wand to apply it. And this is how it looked after I, I went back and forth between Reflex Pearl and the glitter. And it just came out so gorgeous. It looked so good. I took a little bit of liner by MAC, this is Black Track, and lines her eyelids. And the glitter didn't mess with the eyeliner or anything, it went on there perfectly fine. Then I used the Milk Hydro Primer, the Grip Primer on her skin. And 
and she was going out so what i did was she gets oily in her t-zone so i took some setting powder before i put on her foundation to set her t-zone so she doesn't have any oily um you know spots and it actually worked out pretty well foundation i used nc50 studio fix fluid by mac cosmetics And that is an e.l.f. brush that I'm using to apply the foundation. It's a flat top brush. And then for concealer, she loves a bright concealer. So I used NC42. I used a, like one pump of 45 to kind of tone it down a little bit. But most of that color is NC42 Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC. And I'm just putting it underneath her eyes, um, on her top lip, her forehead, down the bridge of her nose and also um, her chin as well. And then to blend out the concealer, I use this is a um, this is actually the, the Beauty Blender sponge the black one to blend out her concealed areas. And to set her concealer, I used the MAC Translucent Powder in Invisible. And I cream contoured. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in Deep and the color I use the contour with is called Espresso. And I'm using a flat Clinique foundation brush to lay down the cream concealer. I use that same color down the bridge of her nose as well. I didn't add any more color to my brush. I just went into whatever was left and cream contoured her nose. To set her face, I use NC, this is NC50 Studio Fix Powder. As you can see, I used the powder to sweep away the translucent powder that was on um, the bridge of her nose and Cupid's bow and chin, but I left it underneath her eyes so I'm going to add shadow there. And to set the cream contour, I used NW55 Studio Fix Powder. Underneath her eyes, I took a black eyeliner to finally black by MAC to line her waterline. And then I took the two dark shades from the Warrior 2 palette and placed it underneath her lash line, the same ones I put on the crease of her eye. Just to give her more of a smoky look because it was a nighttime dinner. She also had a party, so. And then for blush, I went in with Sweetest Cocoa Blush. And the other blush color I'll leave down below, I forgot the name, but I used, I created a MAC palette, so I don't remember the colors, but I know Sweetest Cocoa was one of them. And then for highlight, I went in with the Hyper Real Glow Highlight Palette. She loves a lot of highlighters, so. You know, I had to my girl up. This is the Hyper Real Glow Highlight Powder, and this is in the gold one. So pretty on her. For lashes, I used some mink lashes. I did cut them to fit her eyes because they were really long. So 
so she loves big long lashes so i cut some of the end off and it worked out perfectly which is absolutely gorgeous I used duo glue to apply her lashes and I used my fingers to apply the lashes on her eyes. For her lips, she had two different lip looks, but we recorded to for the dinner she wore nude. For a party she wore red lipstick. So this is chestnut lip liner. Y'all know I'm the nude queen, okay? I love me a nude lip. <laughs> so I went in with chestnut lip liner first and lined her lips. And for lipstick, I took Sis and Honey Love, mixed the two together. This is from a new palette that I have from MAC. Then I just went in with the liner just to line everything back up, make it all even. And then for gloss, Oyster Girl gloss, so pretty. And that completes our look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy Taniva's birthday beats.